The recent discovery of a hidden room being used to sell illegal drugs in South Africa has sparked widespread concern and reignited discussions about the country's ongoing struggle with drug trafficking and abuse. This incident, which involved an individual found with a significant quantity of narcotics in his possession, highlights not only the pervasive nature of the drug trade but also the alarming sophistication of those involved in these criminal activities. As authorities continue to investigate, it has become clear that this is not an isolated case but rather a symptom of a much larger issue affecting communities across the nation. In today's video, we are going to dive deeply into this troubling yet crucial subject. We'll look at the context behind the problem, analyze what this recent discovery reveals, and explore what steps might be necessary to combat the drug trade more effectively. Join us as we uncover the layers of this issue and consider what it means for South Africa's future. South Africa has long faced significant challenges with drug trafficking and abuse. This is not a problem that emerged overnight, it has deep historical and socio-economic roots. The country's geographic location makes it an attractive transit point for international drug cartels looking to smuggle narcotics into other parts of Africa, Europe, and beyond. Additionally, South Africa's developed infrastructure, such as its ports, airports, and road networks, offers traffickers the means to transport drugs efficiently. Over the decades, this has turned the country into both a gateway and a destination for various illicit substances. At the same time, within the country's borders, the abuse of drugs like heroin, cocaine, and methamphetamine has become a major issue. Communities are grappling with rising addiction rates, family breakdowns, and an increase in violent crimes often linked to the drug trade. The recent discovery of a hidden room where illegal drugs were being sold is a stark reminder of how sophisticated drug traffickers have become. The concealed nature of the operation indicates a high level of planning and resourcefulness aimed at evading law enforcement. It's chilling to think about how many similar hidden rooms might exist, operating undetected across the country. This discovery also points to the adaptability of drug traffickers. As authorities increase efforts to crack down on these activities, criminals find new ways to outsmart them, employing tactics that make detection more difficult. This ongoing cat-and-mouse game between traffickers and law enforcement underscores the need for innovative approaches to policing and intelligence gathering. What makes this case even more troubling is the large quantity of narcotics found in the possession of the individual involved. This suggests that the person caught was not acting alone but was likely part of a broader network. Drug trafficking is really an isolated endeavor. It often involves a chain of individuals and groups working together, from the manufacturers who produce the drugs to the distributors who get them into the hands of users. Such operations require careful coordination and substantial financial backing. This level of organization makes it even more difficult for law enforcement to dismantle these networks, as taking down one individual or location often does little to disrupt the larger system. This raises critical questions about the effectiveness of current law enforcement strategies in South Africa. While police have made progress in arresting individuals and confiscating drugs, the sheer scale of the problem suggests that more needs to be done. One of the major challenges facing law enforcement is the lack of resources. Many police units are underfunded and understaffed, which limits their ability to conduct thorough investigations and proactive operations. Corruption within the system also poses a significant hurdle, as it allows traffickers to bribe officials and continue their activities without fear of consequences. Addressing these issues will require a comprehensive overhaul of the system, including better training for officers, increased funding for anti-drug units, and stricter measures to root out corruption. At the same time, it's essential to consider the broader societal factors that contribute to the drug problem. Why do so many individuals become involved in drug trafficking or turn to drug use? For many, the answer lies in poverty and lack of opportunities. 
Unemployment rates in South Africa are among the highest in the world, leaving millions of people struggling to make ends meet. In such circumstances, the lure of quick money from drug trafficking can be difficult to resist. Similarly, for those battling addiction, drugs often become a way to cope with the harsh realities of life. Tackling these root causes is just as important as cracking down on the drug trade itself. This means investing in community development programs, creating job opportunities, and ensuring that rehabilitation services are accessible to those who need them. The implications of this recent discovery go beyond the immediate arrest and confiscation of drugs. It serves as a wake-up call for the entire nation. The fact that such operations can exist, sometimes right under the noses of authorities, is a reminder of how pervasive and entrenched the drug trade has become. But it's also a call to action. It's a chance for law enforcement, policymakers, and communities to come together and address this issue in a more coordinated and effective manner. This will require a multifaceted approach, combining strong enforcement with preventive measures and support systems for those affected by drug abuse. Looking to the future, it's clear that the fight against drug trafficking in South Africa is far from over. However, there is hope. With the right strategies and a commitment from all sectors of society, progress can be made. Law enforcement agencies need to adopt more sophisticated methods, such as advanced surveillance technology and data analysis, to stay ahead of traffickers. International cooperation will also be crucial, as drug trafficking is not confined to national borders. Sharing intelligence with other countries and participating in global anti-drug initiatives can help South Africa disrupt the flow of narcotics into and out of the country. On a community level, education and awareness campaigns can play a vital role in preventing drug abuse, particularly among young people. Schools, religious organizations, and local NGOs can work together to provide information about the dangers of drugs and offer support to those at risk. Rehabilitation programs must also be prioritized, ensuring that individuals struggling with addiction have access to the help they need to rebuild their lives. As we wrap up today's discussion, it's important to reflect on the significance of this issue. The discovery of a hidden room used for selling drugs may seem like just one incident, but it represents a much larger problem that affects countless lives. It's a reminder of the resilience and resourcefulness of those involved in criminal activities, but also of the resilience of communities fighting back. Addressing this challenge will require courage, cooperation, and a willingness to tackle difficult issues head-on. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.